What is up? Welcome to episode 10 of Culpable. It has been a while since my last confession and my last vlog, but uh, I think we have a good one for you today. I want to talk about something that really is the underscoring of everything I share online, everything on my blog, almost everything that I do publicly, and that is learning. I think I had an insight this week. I'm applying it to my own life, so I'm sharing it with you as well. Let me know if you disagree. Here's the insight. Learning, as it's taught in school, is such that each piece of information, we hear that each piece of knowledge builds on the previous piece of knowledge. And because of that, if you don't understand A, you shouldn't move on to B. And you can't move on to C until you understand B. This makes sense, it's intuitive, and I've come to think it's also wrong. So before I explain why, let me just back up with something I think my viewers, friends struggle with. Not all of you, but many of you, and it's something that is a leap we all have to make, and then I'm gonna get back into my, my argument here. When I learned to code, it changed my life. It's, uh, it's why I made more money than I need, it's why I haven't had a boss in years. Coding is why I get to work when and where I want to, like this basement on a farm right now. So I encourage people to learn to code, but not because I think coding is cool or even important. Uh, I encourage people because coding unlocks a lifestyle some of us want to have. Uh, I encourage people with words. I also do it with courses, and most of my courses are free. So I'm not even trying to sell you something right now. But yet it's not enough because people don't believe in themselves. They don't think they can learn something difficult like coding. They've gone down the rabbit hole and it's pumped. It's difficult to get people pumped uh, about their intelligence or their potential uh, to let people think that anyone can do it. Um, because while this may be true, uh, it's not easy to believe. Um, and attainable does not mean easy. Myself and others who have been doing this for a few years, trying to encourage others, uh, we've been using the wrong words, and that's what we're gonna kinda talk about today. Because once you know something, it is easy. <laughs> that's kind of what learning is. It's converting something that's difficult into something that's easy, which suddenly means, ironically, that the would-be instructors, the ones who know the thing that you want to learn, they become the least qualified to guide you through that process of making something difficult easy because to them it's already easy. So I can no longer make coding difficult for myself again to go back through the journey of making it easy. So therefore, how do I help you? Well, it's through new insights, new paradigms that have nothing to do with coding, more to do with learning in general. And those insights are related to our motivations. To back up, step one, here's the insight. The key to learning quickly is being comfortable not understanding something. Now compare this back to how we learned in school. You have to learn A before you can learn B. This has even been converted to policy in the United States. This isn't even just some idea that I heard and maybe you heard from a teacher. No Child Left Behind Act, right? We have to uh, uh, position ourselves such that Whoever is the weakest link, we stay there, then we move forward together. You can't learn B until you learn A, you can't learn C until you learn B. This is only slightly true for the wrong reasons. So let's jump to step two. When we are okay with not understanding something, temporarily, that's the nuance to what we learn in school, what actually happens is that thing clicks later. So to learn quickly, we need to be comfortable not understanding which sounds antithetical to learning and building blocks, so long as it clicks later. That's nuance that we don't get in the American education system or maybe many education systems. And if I apply that to my own life, 
not to be too anecdotal, but I think you'll have areas you can apply this in your life. Pick three of your skills. Pick three of your skills. I'll use coding, guitar, and, uh, and let's say language, learning Korean. Uh, my goal learning to code wasn't to be a dork who goes to coding conferences. My goal was to make money in my sleep so I could do what I wanted to do with my time. My goal with learning to play guitar wasn't to make sounds. It was to feel something and then writing songs to help make other people feel something. But my goal, if I compare that to studying Korean, which I've been doing for a few years, was kind of just to learn Korean. And so the insight here, putting all this together, is that when you want to learn something, if your reason for learning something is identical to the thing you're learning, you will learn more slowly. That's because you will not allow yourself to forego understanding of any given principle. So as I'm learning Korean and I come across a new grammar that I don't understand, because my goal is to understand the language, I can't allow myself to say, oh, I guess this is just how it is. Let's just move on. But when my goal with coding was to make money in my sleep, and I came across principles and syntax and things that seemed ugly or weird to me, or I found myself copy pasting code from the internet, I was okay doing that because my goal was not to actually even understand what I was doing. It was to make a product that had a price tag. And so I'm saying this as a new lesson to myself. I'm going to be working on, uh, reconfiguring my own goals for learning certain skills like Korean. Um, because wanting the skill to be the goal is akin to a blog post I recently put out where I said, if you want to be warm, you do not look at the sun. <laughs> that does not give you the results you want. If you want a big house, you do not learn construction, right? If you want a big house, you need a lot of money. And most people in construction don't make a lot of money. So that's ironically, counterintuitively, the opposite thing you should be doing. That's all there is today. Learning. We learn better when we're okay with not understanding and when our goal is not the task. Chew on it. Have a good weekend. See you next time.